Tannins are preservatives that help wine age. So tannin is the backbone of red wines, just like acid is the backbone for white wines. So it's actually an acid compound, tannic acid, and I think this is misunderstood. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people just don't know that. Tannins are found in grape skins and grape seeds, grape stems. You can also have oak tannins as well. So winemakers, when you're making red wine, they will macerate the wine on the skins to extract the color and the tannin. Maceration is when, after you've pressed the grapes, leaving the skins and the seeds and potentially some stems in the juice for an extended period of time. The longer you leave it in there, the more color that's extracted and also the more tannic a red wine would be. 95% of the time going to be in a red wine unless you find a white wine with skin contact. If you age a white wine in an oak barrel, you can get some of that drying tannic quality in the white wine. Also, a growing trend in wine is to have orange wine, which is essentially a skin-fermented white wine. So you will find tannins or like a tea-like drying sensation if you have white wines that are skin contact. So things like Northeast Italian whites, but for tannin and red wine, we have the juice that is white in contact with the red skins. And then depending on if the grape is a thin skin or a thick skin, you'll get more or less tannin. So uh, tannins are often found in the thicker skin grapes like Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet, uh, traditionally from Bordeaux especially. Sangiovese tends to have higher tannins as well. You'll find tannin, even though it doesn't look like it, it's gonna have tannin in the grape that's Nebbiolo, whereas a low tannin or a silkier style of wine that, that is a thin skin grape would be like Pinot Noir. So tannic structure is something you feel, you don't necessarily taste it but a lot of times you get it on the back of your tongue, on the roof of your mouth, kind of like if you were to wear a, uh, like a wool sweater in summer and it just feels kind of awkward and a little bit kind of rubby, that same thing will happen on your palate. For me, when I'm tasting, um, I look for acid underneath my tongue, um, but I look for tannins on my gums. Feels like a drying sensation, almost like you have gauze pad in your mouth. If I'm tasting a wine and I'm trying to understand its, its structure, I'll throw the, uh, the, the wine under my top gum and I'll see how, much, how dry it gets. And if my um, teeth are sticking to my gums, then I know it's a, a pretty high, high tannin wine. <laughs> 